Hey guys, it's your friend Keith here at Essex Recording Studios in England, and I've got a guitar, a bass guitar, with a ton of mojo. This is a 1978 fretless precision bass. Top Top Mac Daddy, you can see the serial number there, S is for the 70s, E was for the 80s, N is for the 90s, and 0 is for the, the zeros. So when you see S8, that's a 1978. This thing is so, so cool. It sounds killer. Um, didn't realize you don't need frets to play bass and have an awesome sound. You really don't. This thing is phenomenal. You've got this awesome high mass, badass bass two bridge that just is totally killer. Does what it says on the tin. Is totally badass. And yeah, this, this is uh, just an awesome, awesome instrument. We'll pull it out of its case. We got this from the main supplier. You can see it up here, Tickle, who are also FX, I think Audio Hire, Music Hire, and before that was Audio Hire. But you can see this was let, lent to, the last client was Genie Pictures, it looks like. And these instruments that we got in this massive vintage collection were all hired out to the biggest recording studios, film studios, and artists coming to London on tour. If you were coming to London to record or to perform and you needed an instrument, this was who you got it from. So the hands that have played this bass are, are many and are super talented and world renowned. The list is far too long. That's what the headstock looks like. You can see made in USA. And of course you're gonna have chips and dings, but the overall character of this is just beautiful. It's so authentic looking. The fretboard is just a gorgeous piece of wood. all the way down. I'm not sure if the material, it's rosewood, probably Brazilian rosewood, I would guess by the year, but it is beautiful. And this neck is just rock solid. One piece maple neck. Gorgeous tuners, serious machine work on those. And overall, like I said, just really gorgeous. The, the wood grain here, beautiful. Yes, there's some wear, but this is a workhorse. This was for recording on international records and performing in front of tens of thousands of people. Anyone who called for a fretless bass in the London area for the 80s, 90s, and 2000s what was the date on this? 2012. You know, this was the base that got lent out. Way cool. Tons of history. I think that covers everything, guys. This is the case it comes with. Very nice. Awesome. I'm going to sign off, everybody. Subscribe to the channel. Go over to our Facebook. It's Essex Recording Studios. Give us a like. Really appreciate it. We're on Instagram, too. And I will see you with some more instruments. We have another jazz bass from the same collection. Can't wait to show it to you.